So here's a test tube with some obvious excess crystals there. And you see the blue point is above the curve, so that means we have visible excess. But if we heat it, that excess is going to dissolve. So it's no longer saturated with excess, it's just saturated. And if we keep heating it, then we end up under the curve producing an unsaturated solution. There's actually room for more solute if we want. So here we are lowering the test tube into the hot water bath. We're going to stir it, make those solute particles collide with the solvent, make more collisions so it'll dissolve a little bit faster. Eventually all of it will dissolve. And then we just take our unsaturated solution and raise it out of the hot water bath and then just let it sit. So here's our unsaturated solution, but it's going to cool. So as we take our solution and we cool it, we get closer to that line. Now, once we cross over the line, most solutions will start to, to have the excess come out of solution, but not super saturated solutions. Super saturated solutions are cool because the excess will stay dissolved. Now you see how high above the line that blue dot is. Normally all that excess will come out of solution, but supersaturated will stay in until we add a little seed crystal, which we're doing here. We add the seed crystal and now the excess comes out. But if we didn't add that seed crystal, all that excess will stay in solution. So supersaturated solutions, we can get excess dissolved. It shouldn't be, but we can get it dissolved and it stays dissolved until we add a seed crystal like we did here.